Herschel Walker and Senator Rafael Warnock face off in their first and likely only debate last night. The high stakes race could decide control of the Senate. The debate came on the hills of negative headlines in less than a month out from election. Jeff Hollinger joins us live now from Savannah with where this debate took place. And Jeff, we saw it in 2020. This race is pivotal for both parties as they try to win majority in the Senate with just two days from early voting. What are your some of some of your takeaways? You know what? It was uh, a debate of which we have not seen in Georgia over the generations. In fact, generally in October, when you talk about gubernatorial debates or U.S. Senate debates or any statewide sort of debate, it is tepid for the most part, particularly at this juncture with about three weeks to go before Election Day. But last night had a different feel. It felt like a football game, and it only makes sense when you're talking about Herschel Walker, one of the greatest football players in college football history. It was a curious debate with a lot of substance. I think that's something a lot of folks would have been surprised by 24 hours ago. Our polling has Reverend Warnock up by 12 points, 50 to 38. Quinnipiac, which came out in the last couple of days, has uh, Herschel Walker trailing Senator Warnock by about seven points. But the biggest hot button abortion, uh, the biggest hot bus button issue last night was abortion. And this debate came after Walker was accused by a former girlfriend of encouraging and paying her for a 2009 abortion. At times during the campaign, Walker has supported a national abortion ban. But we saw Walker try to shift the question to Senator Warnock, blasting him for being a Baptist pastor who supports abortion rights. He told me black lives matter. And if you think about it, Senator, in Atlanta, Georgia, there's more black baby that is aborted than, uh, than anything. So if black lives matter, why are you not protecting those babies? And instead of <laughs> aborting those babies, why are you not baptizing those babies? I think the women of, of Georgia have a clear choice. He says no exceptions, even in the case of rape, incest, or the life of the mother. I think that's extreme, it's out of touch with Georgia, and I intend to do the work that senators can do. Well, this was the only debate that we will see in this contest. Uh, again, traditionally, three debates are held, but only one this time. Herschel Walker decided that he would do one in Savannah, which, of course, is the home of Senator Warnock. So uh, it's back to the campaign trail. As far as reaction last night, I think those Republicans in attendance were pleased by the performance of Herschel Walker, and conversely, Democrats uh, liked what they saw from Senator Warnock. So we will see where it goes from here. Again, uh, in-person voting begins on Monday, so the process is right at our doorstop. Mm -hmm. I'm Jeff Hollinger in Savannah, 11 Alive News. Back to you. Thank you so much, Jeff.